The Canadian Grand Prix, known for its chaos and lead-altering battles, had an off-track confrontation that stole the spotlight between former F1 champion Jacques Villeneuve and fan favourite Daniel Ricciardo. Villeneuve's comments on Ricciardo's performance were nothing short of incendiary. He questioned Ricciardo's place in F1, stating, Why is he still in F1? Why? We are hearing the same thing now for the last four or five years. Maybe you make that effort for Lewis Hamilton, who's won multiple championships. You don't make that effort for a driver who can't cut it. If you can't cut it, go home. This blunt assessment was not well received by Ricardo, who fired back, I heard he's been talking but he always does. I think he's hit his head a few too many times. The war of words continued, with Villeneuve urging Ricardo to maintain professionalism and handle criticism with a thicker skin, emphasising, his reaction was a little bit personal and he's a role model. Be responsible in your answers, professional. What do you think? Is Villeneuve's criticism justified? Or is he just stirring the pot? Born in Quebec, Canada, Jacques Villeneuve is the son of the legendary Gilles Villeneuve, who raced for Ferrari before his tragic death at the 1982 Belgian Grand Prix. Following in his father's footsteps, Jacques made his mark in F1. His most notable achievement was winning the 1997 Drivers' World Championship with Williams, a season marked by an intense rivalry with Michael Schumacher. Villeneuve's career after 1997 did not reach the same heights. After a brief stint with Renault in 2004, his F1 career came to an abrupt end when BMW, who had taken over Sauber, decided to test a young Robert Kubica, leading Villeneuve to step away from the sport. Beyond F1, Villeneuve found success in other series, including winning the Indianapolis 500 and competing in NASCAR, IndyCar and the World Endurance Championship. Despite his varied career, Villeneuve remains a polarising figure in the motorsport community, known as much for his outspoken nature as for his racing achievements. Given his own career struggles, does Villeneuve have the right to judge current drivers so harshly? Villeneuve's criticisms of Ricardo weren't limited to his performance on the track. He also took aim at Ricardo's continued presence in F1, suggesting that his image, rather than his results, kept him in the sport. This blunt assessment struck a nerve with Ricardo, who responded by dismissing Villeneuve's comments as typical, suggesting that the former champion had lost his grip on reality. Villeneuve, undeterred, responded by urging Ricardo to be more professional and responsible, highlighting the need for thick skin in the face of criticism. This exchange highlights the broader debate about the scrutiny and pressure faced by F1 drivers. Ricardo, once a star driver, has struggled in recent years, and Villeneuve's harsh remarks reflect a common sentiment among some critics. Yet, it's essential to consider the context and pressures faced by drivers like Ricardo, who are not only battling on the track, but also navigating the intense scrutiny from the media and former champions. The tension between maintaining a positive public image and delivering results is a constant balancing act for drivers in the high-stakes world of F1. Is Villeneuve's critique a necessary wake-up call or just another blow to an already pressured driver? Villeneuve's sharp tongue didn't spare Ferrari either. After both Ferrari cars were knocked out in Q2 during the Canadian GP qualifying, Villeneuve directed his critique at team principal Fred Vasseur. Vasseur, defending his team, pointed out that the use of used soft tyres in Q2 was not a risk gone wrong but a necessity due to a lack of new sets. The tension between Villeneuve and Ferrari illustrates the broader challenges faced by the iconic team. After the highs of the Monaco GP, Ferrari suffered a double DNF in Canada due to engine issues and poor race execution. Villeneuve's remarks, while harsh, reflect the frustrations of many fans and pundits who expect more from a team with Ferrari's legacy. Is Villeneuve's critique of Ferrari a fair assessment of their struggles, or is it just another case of kicking a team when it's down? The question of who is right in this ongoing debate is complex. Villeneuve's harsh criticisms of Ricardo and Ferrari reflect a broader frustration with underperformance in a sport where expectations are incredibly high. Ricardo, once a star driver, is now under pressure to prove his worth, especially with younger talents like Yuki Tsunoda and Liam Lawson waiting in the wings. Helmut Marko's comments about Ricardo needing to perform to retain his seat only add to the pressure. On the other hand, the role of pundits and journalists in shaping public perception cannot be ignored. Villeneuve himself has faced significant criticism throughout his career, often labelled as a one-hit wonder 
due to his sharp decline after his championship win. The debate ultimately boils down to the balance between holding drivers and teams accountable and recognising the immense pressures they face in one of the most competitive sports in the world. Is Villeneuve offering tough love or is he just another washed-up ex-champion trying to stay relevant? Who do you think has the upper hand in this ongoing war of words? Villeneuve's outspoken nature and harsh criticisms highlight the high expectations in F1 but also raise questions about the line between constructive feedback and personal attacks. As Ricardo battles to regain his form and Ferrari strives to overcome strategic missteps, the ongoing debate about performance, accountability and the role of media in motorsport continues to evolve. What are your thoughts on Villeneuve's remarks? Are they justified or do they cross the line? Let us know in the comments.